What's up my toxic gamers today? I mean the stories are not that good ladies and gentlemen We got a lot of people mad. We got a lot of people mad. We also have a ton of really good stories But also a ton of bad stories as well We're gonna get right into the story because our first story man I gotta say guys sit down because it'd be like that sometimes We also have Sugas trying to sue Rockstar Games We're gonna be getting into that story like this video subscribe if you're brand new I will keep you in the loops because our first story is to do with E3 now we're actually finding out that E3 is uh, done. It is over, it is dead, it is not gonna happen no more. They, these seconds came out, they said that after more than two decades of E3, each one bigger than the last, the time has come to say goodbye. Thanks for the memories, GGWP. Hey, yo, what? Yo, what's a GGWP though? Like, this is me right now. Like, I'm not sure what that means, bruh. Like, I don't know. But guys, focus on the feeling here, okay? E3 is no more. It's never gonna happen. It is Joe over. Because for the last few years, uh, they have been saying that, okay, not this year. Next year, we're gonna come back, right? Next year, we're gonna come back. Next year, we're gonna come back. And this year rolls around and these things are like, okay, well, we are gonna fully, fully cancel, which is, which is just absolutely wild. And usually we have a whole lot of toxic gamers, right? Like everybody's dropping DDTs, everybody's always going off, everybody's saying that you suck, you suck, you suck, you suck, everybody sucks. That's what everybody says Bruh. in the comments. After all, we're talking about Twitter, right? Twitter is basically, it's kind of normal on Twitter, okay? People love to dogpile on everybody, but when I was a kid, I would Look forward to this like the Super Bowl for gaming truly so many memories and of an era. Your group was responsible for getting tens of thousands of gaming fans together each year. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, I didn't see this coming. I mean, we all saw that coming, right? Like you saw that coming, I saw that coming. We all saw that coming because every year we hear that PlayStation pulled out, then we hear that Microsoft pulled out, and then we hear that they have delayed it to next year. We have been hearing that for the past few years, ever since the Roni situation. Make sure you guys are washing your hands and smash the like button. Uh, I do not want anyone to catch the Roni. It used to be something that I would say back in the 2020s, guys. Time flies like crazy, man, but it is not happening, guys. It is not happening, which is just absolutely sad to see because, listen, man, every kid had that dream, right? Like, I cannot be the only one. Don't just a pom-pom, guys, but for the longest amount of time, I, I never got to experience, but I wanted to uh, eventually one day. You know, it's like every kid's dream, right? It's every gamer's dream, even the toxic gamer dream as well, Bruh. to one day attend the E3 find themselves like a gamer waifu and you, you feel what I'm saying, right? Jake Luggy actually came out, said that Dr. Disrespect is no longer banned from E3. So this is uh, this might give you like that PTSD, guys, because this was Dr. Disrespect. I'm not sure at what year's E3, though. Any Anybody knows the year? Anybody knows the year? Let me know, because I don't remember what year uh, of E3 that was where Dr. Disrespect, <laughs> Dr. Disrespect uh, went into the, the, the bathroom, they used the restroom, recorded. In fact, not even recorded that ass live stream and he put up this tweet with e3 in the back like that Bruh. and uh, he just photoshopped himself basically that's a symbol of that e3 is kind of dead i mean damn bro but also the florida joker threatening rockstar games over gta 6 you think he deserves the money uh, roll it. i'm giving you the biggest free marketing you got entire history of running this gta game for, for that, I want an extra million dollars. Uh -huh. Y'all taking forever to respond back to me. You see that? Find another character. Find another person in Florida they betrayed that character from. I'll wait. I will wait. GTA, okay. we got the top. You think yeah. I'm playing? You got three days. Three days before my lawyers go crazy on this case. This is, this is not like the Lizzie Lohan case. This okay. is not like the Lucy Lona case. I got hard evidence. Mm. Hard evidence. My boy got hard evidence, guys. And with that look he gives See? at the end, I mean, damn, bro. I'm scared, guys. I mean, everybody is scared. But let's be real, right? Emergency meeting real quick, though. You guys think that he deserved $2 million? You suckers think that he deserves... <laughs> This is absolutely crazy. You took the likeness. 
Oh, Joker from DC, and you have the balls to go at Rockstar Games and say that y'all took my likeness, y'all took my life. He said literally word for word. He said that in his last video. This is obviously his third attempt, and this time this guy is dead ass threatening them and saying that you got three days, you got three days, and in three days from now, I'm gonna go in gang gang. My lawyers are gonna be getting involved. You should be happy that they put your ass in the game, bro. You could have started a podcast, you could have been like that Florida GTA 6 guy or something podcast. That would have been a banger. You, there are a million different ways of making money. Nobody wins against Rockstar Games, bruh. These suckers got billions and billions of dollars, bro. They didn't even bother giving Nico Bellic's voice actor more than 100k, bruh. Bruh. Who do you think you are? Just think about it. Okay, just focus on the frontal low for a second. But how how much money you guys think he deserves to get? I want to know your thoughts on uh, on it. But guys, also Modern Warfare 3 free trial is going live on December the 14th through uh, December the 18th. It's gonna be free to play. These are gonna be all the all the the playlist. And earlier today we also did hear for the fact that Modern Warfare 3 sales have been down almost 40 percent, which is just oh shit, oh, shit. absolutely the craziest new story ever so looks like that they're they're trying to uh, get some uh, players back on the game which is I mean but very very good if you want to play you want to try it out you surely can we also had a massive leak for for insomnia games in the middle of the night for Wolverine and I've, I've even seen like one leaked image oh, uh, and it wasn't like super high quality it was like the zoomed out version we got to see like the costume of Wolverine and it does look good some are saying it looks terrible I mean we couldn't really see much but this isn't as big of a leak as like that initial GTA 6 leak of uh, from September of 2022. Report Wolverine PS5 images leaked as Insomniac suffers ransomware attacks. So they ended up getting their ass, uh, their BBC leak out. And speaking of the BBC, guys, I'm not talking about this BBC. I mean, come on, guys, this is the friendly UAV online. This is that type of BBC. We're not talking about that BBC. So focus on the news here, okay? This is British broad. I, I don't think you guys understand. This is British broadcasting channel, okay? So BBC comes out. They said that Google loses Monopoly case to Fortnite maker Epic Games. Everybody, get up, get up, get up, get up. So they actually won their case, and apparently this has been ongoing for almost, uh, let's, three years. Epic Games sued Google in 2020, accusing it of unlawfully making its App Store dominant over rivals. And like, ain't nobody got time for that, as that Kimberly Sweet Brown lady once said. And they're talking about Monopoly, they're talking about this, they're talking about that, and uh, apparently, according to BBC, uh, once again, British Broadcasting Channel, Bruh. Fortnite won the guys. Everybody, give it up. Let's go for two likes on the video, boys. And also, call this is one of the, the, the biggest plot twists in the history of all gaming, guys. So, the other day, right, we actually saw Christopher Judge at the Game Awards. He said that Modern Warfare 3's campaign is shorter than my BBC. Uh, yeah, my bad. Uh, my bad. <laughs> Uh, he actually said that it is, it is shorter than it was shorter than my Game Awards 2022 speech, right? So yeah, he talked about it. He kind of low key took a jab at Call of Duty and Activision. He was making a joke, okay? It was a light-hearted joke, okay? It's something that we all make some time to time. It's called sarcasm, which is something that the Call of Duty devs like uh, lack, okay? So Call of Duty devs heard him. They went crazy, they went bozo, they started attacking God of War, they started attacking uh, Christopher Judge, they uh, they tried to cancel Christopher Judge, but in return, the fans canceled him. So that happened, and shout out to the fans, I gotta say. And today we are hearing that Call of Duty devs walk back Kratos voice actor criticism, which means that they have 180 and also I could apologize to Chris Judge, there's a good chance that those words were not his, and I should have considered that sooner, and to call out big companies on a public stage is an absolutely terrifying thing to do, and it's not his responsibility, mm -mm, strong, independent, so that was from Darcy, another uh, dev says I deleted the tweet where, you know, they actually talk crap about Christopher Judge, they try to cancel the guy for a simple joke, and I mean, he said no lies i mean it was shorter the campaign was shorter than his bbc and also his, his game awards 2022 speech let's be real guys like come on bro what are we talking about here bro deleted the tweet as it was causing unnecessary attention 
and was meant as backhanded response to a joke that felt quite tough to hear given all the circumstances of development. Not conveyed well, so apologies for that, obviously no hate towards God of War, peace. Mm -mm. That happened, and we also had this famous game by the name of The Days Before, or oh, the, the the Day Before Scam. This is apparently wild. This, uh, this is modern day gaming, ladies and gentlemen. I just cannot compute it that gamers, uh, gamers are probably the only target audience that gets done dirty to this extent. Check this out. A couple of years ago, the day before kind of came out of the middle of nowhere. I kind of equate the day before with another game, which kind of came out of the middle of nowhere and got so much eyes, and that was Abandoned. Uh, PlayStation 5 <laughs> horror. Yeah, whatever happened to this game, bro? We haven't abandoned, literally got abandoned, so that's like one thing. But the day before, something that we thought would never come out, something that everybody thought was a fake game, but Sega like still went ahead and they bought it, which is absolutely wild. In no world anybody would buy an inferior product but gamers are like the only species left on planet earth that would apparently loves to buy scams i i heard that more than forty thousand people bought it bruh oh, like th th it has been absolutely crazy at this point i mean do you want to even blame the, the the day before death yeah sure if you're so if you're somebody that did not buy the game right but if you bought the game you have lost all your rights to criticize this uh the day before unless you're a streamer unless uh, you were you knew about it you bought it regardless and you were like okay i'm gonna stream this i'm gonna make money but on top i'm gonna just tell everybody that hey guys don't buy it i bought it so you don't have to buy it. you know those kind of reviews i okay for for people like that i understand but if you're somebody that knew that it's a scam and if you and, and you knew that you're not gonna be making money off of it you're not gonna be reviewing the game and you bought it regardless i mean damn at this point you were asking to get finessed this is a game that i was planning on discussing at some point earlier this year i had a whole outline and everything just other things came up so i moved on from that but uh it just came back on the radar in recent days because of so much controversy surrounding it and i've been saying this for the longest time i may have seen this in video form i'm not sure if i have but this Dog, the gameplay kind of look good in the early gameplays uh, reveals, bro. Like, this is crazy, bro. Holy. Looks like a blatant scam from the get-go. It was one of those gameplay trailers that you watch and you're just like, this looks way too good to be true. And especially the development team, you don't, there's not much known about these guys. And there really isn't much indication that they'll be able to pull that off. I think the last time we felt that was kind of I mean, it did look good and it still does look good watching from the gameplay, but I never was like, hey man, I'm hitting the G spot. I, I gotta go ahead and buy the game. I never got to that point but the pc master race was like yo f year this is gonna be our game we gotta buy it and uh, it turned out to be a scam and four days after launch they are now shutting down the project guys and recently we also ended up getting like the ps5 pro leak as well we're hearing 8k gameplay 8k gameplay we had some gta 6 stuff leak out click on this video on the screen and i will see you right there